Hey yo guys, there's been some people freaking out about this new update um, to Windows 10. Update for removal of flash player for Windows 10. Ooh. Um, so people think, oh wow, if Windows is gone and Biox flash and running, well, all this update actually does is it just removes the ActiveX control from um, Internet Explorer, which was one of the um, only browsers really yet that still supported it. I mean, you can use Pale Moon or Waterfox if you really want to, and use the uh, MP API version, but you know, you can also use um, you can also use Internet Explorer, and also all um, desktop apps use ActiveX as well. So. I'm going to show you um, the new update method to get act, um, ActiveX programs to work, which I didn't show in my last video at all. So I'm going to be using Flash Patcher, um, a program I wrote. So the thing you want to do is you want to download the ActiveX version. Um, you can also down apply the same process for the um, Firefox or Chrome variants. Just make sure you have a version of Chromium or Firefox that can still do MP API, PP API. So, here yeah, this is downloading, and I'm also going to download the um, Flash Patcher. And this might get detected as a hack, hack tool slash Win32 Patcher, um, which, I mean, isn't exactly wrong. It does patch executable, so, you know, but it's not really malware, so. <laughs> Okay, so these are both done. So um, I'll open this folder and you can't actually install this directly. If you try it, it will tell you to, if it's already installed, you need to use um, some Windows 7. So first thing you actually want to do is change properties, go to compatibility, and run this in compatibility mode for Windows 7. Give OK. And now it should work. Okay, I have read and agreed to the terms and conditions, give a PR, currently installing. Alright, and it doesn't matter which one of these you choose, the server's sort of dead anyway. Um, okay, so now if I open Internet Explorer, for example, alright, and I go to a site that uses Flash, let me just go to my horse or private server real quick. Game that. PHP, you'll see it will it will yellow but it will show the um, kill screen. So um go on Fiash Patcher um, and tell your AV to go away. Um, and you'll see it found a kill switch timestamp. And what this will do is it will paste the kill switch time with infinity so it will never expire. So you can defuse the bomb. See it's in use of final process. Okay, well, it turns out um, this will automatically restart it if you kill it, so you won't actually leave the page and try this again. Alright, there we go. So, Internet Explorer. So now if we go back, our uh, horse.php, and you see, as you can see, the game it works. a few desktop applications as well that use ActiveX and all the run stuff. And if you want, you can use the same thing on the PPAPI or M um, MPAPI versions of Flash as well. As well, um, you could even you could even add the um, executables for the Mac version or the Linux version that would patch them, and you'd be able to use them on those systems. But that's a whole other thing. I should really just port this program to it. So, yeah, that's about it. That's how you can run Flash on, in browser on 2021 after they updated it. So even after they update Windows to remove it, um, it, it you know, it's still possible. So, uh, yeah, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.